This episode of History Saver is brought to you by Addressing Gettysburg. Addressing Gettysburg is a podcast that shares great experiences, quality programs, awesome guests, and is a welcoming community for all who love Gettysburg. So join in with host Matt Callery and find out why Addressing Gettysburg is one of the top rated podcasts online today. You can find them on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, CastBox, Podbean, Google Podcasts, TuneIn, and on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, right here on YouTube. So check out Addressing Gettysburg today, where history is not boring. Thank you to Addressing Gettysburg for sponsoring this video. You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. Alright, so we're here on the battlefield at New Market, Virginia to commemorate and tell the story of one of the Civil War's often forgotten stories of sacrifice, valor, and just outright cool story if you ask me. So we're here to tell the story of the Lost Shoes. So, you may have seen the movie Field of Lost Shoes. Well, these are the uniforms and costumes used in that film from Josh Zuckerman from um, his role as Cadet Moses Ezekiel, Max Lloyd, Cadet Sam Atwell, and Mary Mauser from Liddy Kleinhurst. And these are their actual costumes that they were in the film. So on the afternoon of the May the 15th, 1864, Confederate elements under the command of John C. Breckenridge were formed just off to my right near this farmhouse at New Market. General Franz Siegel for the Union Army had orders to start cutting the rail lines here in this area, which was known as basically the breadbasket of the Confederacy. Well, to stop him, Breckenridge had orders to put him dead in his tracks in this location. So Breckenridge got a scout force of two infantry brigades, one cavalry, and then a corps of Virginia Military Institute cadets ranging from the ages of 15 years old to around 25. And they were never meant to see battle. They were called in as reserves, Breckenridge did not have plans to put them in because he he didn't want to put kids in the battlefield. Well, when a gout formed in this area in Breckenridge's lines, as the artillery mass on the hill you see directly over my shoulder, he was forced to do just that. So just over 200 of these cadets from Virginia Military Institute were forced into battle in this field. On the day of the battle, there was a torrential thunderstorm that moved in. The battlefield is soaking wet. It's muddy. It's just a sloshy mess. Well, these VMI cadets, seeing that the lines were failing, started a charge across this field to take out these artillery guns behind me. When they did, they left in their wake their shoes stuck in the middle of this field in the mud, the dirt, the water, the grass. One account of one of the cadets who was here said he got within 300 yards or so of the position you see behind me when he was struck by a shell fragment and fell. He got back to the hospital only to make his way back out here to see what had happened to his, to his friends, his roommates, his VMI rats that was his cadets and he saw the carnage and aftermath. The aftermath of this battle was that Siegel was forced to retreat back along the North Fork of the Shenandoah Valley and give up the efforts to cut the supply lines. 
The Confederates had lost 531 men here in Newmarket. The Union lost 841. A total casualty estimate of three, uh, 1,342 men were lost on this field, killed, wounded, or missing in action. So out of the 257 VMI cadets that saw action on this field, 57 were wounded and 10 died of their wounds on the battlefield or afterwards. Every year, the Virginia Military Institute comes here on the battlefield of Newmarket and the new cadets, before their process is over, are required to do one thing, and that is to charge across this field in memorial of the VMI cadets who fell here in May of 1864. Due to the lost shoes that's on this battlefield, we now call this area the field of lost shoes. And we're gonna do what VMI does every year in commemoration and remembering of these VMI cadets here. We're going to read the names of all of these VMI cadets who were killed here in Newmarket. Corporal Samuel Francis Atwell, Company A, Class of 1866. First Sergeant William Henry Cabell, Company D, Class of 65. Private Charles Day Crockett, Company D, Class of 67. Private Alvia Curtis Hartsfield, Company D, Class of 1866. Private Thomas Garland Jefferson, Company B, great great nephew of President Thomas Jefferson, mortally wounded, Class of 67. Private Henry Jenner Jones, Company D, Class of 67. Private William Hugh McDowell, Company B, Class of 67. Also known as the model for Ghost Cadet. Private Jacqueline Beverly Standard, Company B, Class of 67. Private Joseph Christopher Wilwright, Company C, Class of 67. Now, a lot of these cadets are buried today up under the memorial on VMI's campus at the Virginia Military Institute, where they are remembered each year. But this is the place where they gave their last devotion in a field that we now call that we now call the field of lost shoes. So pretty cool to come here to New Market, see this place. And sorry I didn't take you around the entire battlefield, we just don't have time. But uh, this is the place you want to see most of. So pretty cool. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you on this next episode of History Saver 1941 as it is starting to rain as we're just finishing up here at Newmarket. <laughs>